Okay, let's see question number nine from October 2023, P3 paper. So basically question number nine uh, is from modulus functions that is basically discussed in chapter number two of your P3 book. So let's see what they have asked in question number nine. Okay, so you can see at first there is a figure uh, given you can see this is a modulus curve. It's not a straight line. It's a curve, modulus curve given. The equation of the curve, okay. Figure two shows a sketch of the curve with equation y equals to two minus four ln x plus one and whole modulus. The domain of the curve is given x greater than k, okay. Where k is a constant, given that the curve has an asymptote at x equals to k x equals to k we can see from figure 2 it has a vertical asymptote okay it cuts the y axis at point a it in, it intersects the y axis at a we can see there okay cuts the y axis at point a okay fine meets the x axis at point b it meets the x axis at point b okay so as shown in figure 2, we can see in figure 2, that's fine. State the value of k. We need to state the value of k. So how can you understand the value of k? So basically, to get the value of k, at first c, what type of equation is this? We know this is a modulus equation. Uh, it is a modulus function. But still, if you see, there is a function of ln. It's a logarithmic function. So in this case, we know that logarithmic functions cannot have a negative domain. Okay, so, so it doesn't mean that if you know that the logarithmic functions don't have negative domain, so it won't be like x greater than negative one, like not, not like that. You need to understand from the function, like this is a transformed function of logarithm. How it is it transformed? ln x plus 1 so basically this equation this function is transformed both vertically like along the y-axis and along the x-axis so basically the domain the x values changes for transformation along the x-axis so what's the transformation along x-axis here it is ln x plus 1 you can see that it's ln x plus 1 that means the logarithmic curve ln x has been moved towards the negative x axis by one units that means the domain would be x greater than negative one we cannot have any negative values within the bracket of ln that means x should be what greater than negative one okay so that means the value for k is what for part a the value of k is negative one we got that okay for part b state the coordinates of a we need to state the coordinates of a what is a there a is the intersection the y intercept so at y intercept what we know we know that at y intercept the value of x is what zero so put plug in x equals to zero into the equation of f of x what you will get two minus four ln one We'll get y equals to 2 minus 4 ln what? 1. ln 1 is basically 0. So we'll get what? You'll get y equals to 2. That means at y equals to 2, the curve is intersecting the y axis. So we got the y coordinate is what? y equals to 2. Next. For part 2, they asked to find the exact x coordinate of point B exact x coordinate of point b what is b there it is the intersection with the x axis so at x axis what we know at y axis x is equals to zero so at x axis y would be equals to zero so we will put y equals to zero into the equation into the function so if you put y equals to zero what you will get 2 minus 4 ln x plus 1 whole modulus that would be equal to what that will be equal to zero okay now what we can write take out the modulus we'll get what two minus four ln 
x plus 1 it is equals to 0 and we know that if you take out the modulus there are two possible values one positive the other one is negative so this is the negative one for ln x plus 1 equals to what? 0 okay now from there we need to make x the subject so what you will get take ln on uh, for ln x plus 1 on the, on the other side for ln x plus 1 we take it to the right side you will get 2 or if you take 2 to the other side you will get 4 ln x plus 1 equals 2 okay next what we need we need to do we can divide both sides by 4 for the first equation you get half and uh, for the next one you can take ln x plus 1 equals to 2 over 4 this is also what half 2 over 4 but we are getting the same okay we are getting the same value because that's that's the reason because on the we are finding the y the, the intersection with the x-axis so when you consider the intersection with the x-axis we took the one side is zero so it it like multiplying by negative one and positive one it doesn't affect here okay so what you will get make x plus one the subject so you can write e to the power half so we will get x equals to e to the power half e to the power half is what square root of e minus one that's the value of x so this is the case so why I have separately solved the two equations because this is not the case like this might be not the case for all modulus functions many modulus functions have two roots so in that case you need to solve them simultaneously so we got the x coordinate of point B this is what x equals to square root of x minus 1 so that's the x coordinate of point B next is part C what about part C in part C what they have asked okay so in part C they said use algebra and showing your working find the set of values of X such that the this is function f of X it's greater than what 3 okay so let's move on to the graph the y coordinate of point A we got what we got y equals to 2 so basically if I draw they said the reference is what it should be greater than 3 it should be greater than 3 so at y equals to 3 let's draw a horizontal straight line so if I draw a horizontal straight line so let's draw a horizontal straight line so this is a horizontal straight line so this straight line you can see that it is it is intersecting f of x at two points one is there oh sorry one is one is there and the other one is there so basically the x coordinate the x coordinate of these two points would be the critical values critical values means with respect to these two values we will find the range of this inequality so let's find out the critical values in this case at first okay so for part C we will equate the modulus equation that means uh, modulus 2 minus 4 ln x plus 1 whole modulus this is equals to what this is equals to 3 okay now like as before we will have two possible values one would be positive ln ln x plus 1 equals to 3 or negative 2 or multiply the negative 3 by that keep it as it is 2 minus 4 ln x plus 1 equals to what equals to negative 3 I just multiplied the modulus after taking out the modulus the negative one you are getting I multiplied it to the right hand side okay so what you can do now we need to make uh, 
x subject here in this case so for ln x plus 1 it would be equals to what 2 minus 3 this is negative 1 and on the other hand you will have 4 ln ln x plus 1 4 ln x plus 1 equals to 2 plus 3 this is 5 now what you can do we can divide both sides by what ln x plus 1 equals to negative 1 over 4 or ln x plus 1 can be written as what 5 over 4 okay now what we can do make x plus 1 we can write x plus 1 the subject so e inverse 1 over 4 or you will get what x plus 1 equals to e to the power 5 over 4 okay now make x the subject so you'll get x equals to e inverse 1 over 4 minus 1 or x equals to e to the power 5 over 4 minus 1 so one of the two values is negative so which one is negative definitely you can figure it out this is negative so this x value is for the x value that lies in the negative x axis this one and the, the other one is for this one so we got the critical values now we need to find out the range of values for which the f of x will remain above greater than means what it will remain above 3 so for which values of x you can see that f of x remains above the x axis which part is above the x not sorry not above the x axis above 3 this is y equals to 3 this is y equals to 3 so above 3 is which part this part this part is above 3 again that part is what above 3 so we got the range of possible values range of possible values would be what x less than the x coordinate of point a or x greater than the x coordinate of point b so not point b this is point consider this as x as just as example okay so we got the range of values so we can write the answers now so solution is solution is x less than the negative solution this is e inverse 1 over 4 minus 1 or x is greater than e to the power 5 over 4 minus 1 test the solution to the inequality of part c that's it that's all about question number 9 from p3 october 2023 paper